you doing? It's so nice to see you again. Welcome to Cooking with Kashi and Krista. Oh, there, look, there's Kashi. I'm Kashi. <laughs> and I'm Christopher. And we're going to do some cooking today. So we've got a great recipe today. It's homemade vegan granola. Yum. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. And you know, Kashi, I don't even really like granola that much. Really? But this granola, I love. It's a real treat. Wow. Oh, you've got all the stuff out here. I do. So we can put it all together. But first, I just want to mention that I got this recipe from an AADL uh, friend and neighbor and a library user. So thanks a lot, Sarah. Oh, yeah. I know her. She's really nice. <laughs> and this is a delicious granola recipe. Let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we've got, we've got our oats, and I've got two and two-thirds cups of oats to go in here. Oh, are you, oh wow, you're just going to pour it right in there. That's okay. right. And so, so I like oats. All, that's why you make oatmeal too, right? Yeah, that's right. Oats oh, are pretty good. And then we've got two <laughs> tablespoons of flaxseed. Flaxseed's all what? ground up. Yeah, it's great. And you know, you can put all kinds of things in here. Whatever you want. Oh, like could you put like a boot in there? Well, only if you're the Three Stooges. Oh, but... okay. Not a boot. You need like <laughs> all kinds of food and stuff. That's right. All right. So now I've got a cup of raw almonds that goes in. And then I've got half a cup of raw pepitas. What? What's yeah, I was just going to ask you that. You know, they're green pumpkin seeds. That sounds like a Spanish word. Yeah, I you know, like it, it probably is. I like it. And then I've got a quarter cup of raw sunflower seeds to go mm, right in. Yum. And a little bit of salt. I don't have, but we'll add it later. Okay? Okay. <laughs> and that is all the dried ingredients. So I'm just going to stir that up. Now do you have to let it sit for a whole day or something? <laughs> no, Kashi. Because I, I saw that before where you put something in the fridge and you have to let it sit and you really <laughs> want it to be ready, but it's not ready. No, uh, we're going to put our sweetener in there and a little bit of oil and lay it out in a pan and then it'll be all set. Oh, all right. So, so now I've got my measuring cup, <clears throat> and we need a third of a cup of oil. Right. You're really good at measuring. I've had a lot of practice. Wow. I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> now, Sometimes I put a little bit more than a third of a cup in, so don't tell Sarah, okay? Ooh, of maple syrup? Yeah, so it's an, then it's another third of a cup yeah. of maple syrup. You think you could use honey or something like that? Probably. What I was told is that if you, whatever, uh, rather, you need the same amount of dry ingredients as you have here and about the same amount of wet ingredients. Oh. I've made this with chocolate, and lots of other things. That sort of sounds like science or something, like half dry, half wet. That's really interesting. And you know, I'm going to post this recipe so you'll all be able to see it. Oh, good. And we're almost ready. Here we go. Oh, I'll just put that right in there. Ooh. And we're dumping it all in. Wow. All right. And that's it. Now, we're going to turn the oven on. I'm not allowed to use the oven yet. I'm not old enough. Yeah, that's true, Kashi. But so someday. We, that's right. Someday you'll be making this for me. And you stir it all around, and then you put it in the oven, and it comes out after about 40 minutes or so. Wait, that's it? That's you just, it. You just put all the stuff in, and then you... Bake it and yep. then you get to eat it? That's right. 
So wow. I think it's time we should pop it in the oven and it'll be ready and we can taste it when it comes out. Okay? Okay. All ready. right. So we're all set to pop in the oven. That looks fantastic, Christopher. Yeah, it looks even better after I added the mm. coconut that I forgot to add. Oh, I love coconut. So do I. But not everybody does. Some people don't like coconut. So we're going to pop it in the oven right now. Oh. And we're going to set a timer. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> no. Be careful. We're going to set a timer for 50. 15 minutes. I don't know why I did that. Oh, three fives. That's Wow, right. that's math. And at 15 minutes, we're going to take it out, turn it all over so it gets browned evenly, mm. and then we'll put it in for another two times. I can do. already start to smell it. It smells delicious. It does. So let's wait and wait and wait, and we'll be back when it's time to pull it out of the oven. Bye. Bye. And here it is, right out of the oven. Voila! Oh, gosh, you're going to have to wait a minute. It's still hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it just has to cool down, and then I can eat it? That's right. Oh, I can't wait. It looks delicious. Neither can I. That was so fun. <laughs> hey, can we do some more fun stuff together sometime? Of course. We'll you know, I like all sorts of stuff. I like crafts. I like sewing. I like... Building things, gardening, well, making my bed. Well, not really very much, but sometimes, you know. You know, you're in luck because so do I. Oh, good. Well, thanks for coming to our cooking with Kashi and Christopher. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Goodbye. Bye. See you next